Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. I've got something really special today. A lot of people have been asking for it. I've been trying to find it really hard. Well, I finally got some. We've got Federal Fusion Tipped. This is their 150 grain version in 270 Winchester. And here's that box for the Federal Fusion Tipped 150 grain load in 270. We've got a white tail deer icon on the box. Let's go ahead and flip it around and see what they've got to say about this stuff. So up top, you can stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Basically, it's saying this is the same thing as the original Fusion Bullet, just with a polymer tip to help make it more streamlined for better, longer range performance, etc. Right here, some more info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Coming over here, this is what everyone wants to see, velocity information. So for your 150 grain 270 load, muzzle velocity is stated at 2,850 feet per second. And we will see how close we get to that. No doubt they're using a 24 inch test barrel. Let's go ahead and open this stuff up and take a look. It comes in your standard federal plastic ammo holders. Nothing crazy there. Let's whip one out. And there it is, there is your fusion tip. It's got your orange polymer tip on there. Nice clean looking brass. Let's look at the primers. Yep, it's got the blue sealant or whatever that stuff is like most federal ammo has. Let's go shoot the stuff and see how it does. And the test rifle today is my Winchester Model 70 Featherweight, chambered in 270 Winchester, of course. We've got a 22 inch barrel. Up top, we've got a Swarovski Z3 scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. We've got 270 stamped right in this one, no mistake in it. Check out my website, masonleather.com to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And also I wanna show you taking off for range work. I've got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings also available on my website. If you're looking for a leather sling that'll last a lifetime and then some, check them out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white tail deer design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are the velocities for that Federal Fusion tip, 250 grain load out of the 270, minimum 2739, maximum 2771 for an average of 2752. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Federal Fusion tip, 250 grain out of the 270 Winchester, and we did capture all three bullets, and we even got one that slipped just outside of the block, but we're gonna count it, I'll tell you why. So here are our three bullets. We'll go ahead and look at penetration. So this was the first bullet that I fired. It slipped out of the block right here and it was resting on the table like right here. So we're just gonna count right where it came out of the block at. It probably would have went just a little bit further if it had stayed in the gel, but it's right there with the other two. So we're just gonna count where it landed or we're just gonna count where it slipped out of the block at. That's pretty good. So we got 21 inches of penetration. This one right here, we'll give it its kissing 21 and a half. And then this one right here is kissing 22 and a half. I'll move my hand out of the way so the camera will actually focus. So right about perfect penetration for white-tailed deer. That's what I like to see just past that 20 inch mark. We're not necessarily going too far. We're dumping energy up front and penetrating enough to get the job done. And just look at the expansion on that. It looks like a classic fusion bullet, and so do those other two. And coming on back to the first block, our wound cavities, expansion starts immediately and goes on until about, oh man, I mean, it goes all the way through the first block for the most part, but it starts to kind of taper off right here at about the eight and a half to nine and a half inch mark. It starts to close up a bit. That's about perfect for what you want to see for deer size game. And this ammo absolutely slings this front block around. It delivers a punch. So let's go ahead and dig these out and take a look. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. Federal Fusion tipped 150 grain and 270 Winchester. This stuff was wild. 
Let's get into it. Weight retention first. We saw 136, 137, and 138 grains for an average of 137 grains. Now that's 91% weight retention, which is a bit less than most of the federal fusion loads, just, you know, the traditional federal fusion loads that I've tested in the past. That's an interesting thing to note. And as we go forward and test more of these federal fusion tipped loads, we'll see if it keeps being that way. But something that I have noticed is that when ammo manufacturers come out with a new bullet that's like a tipped version, it does tend to shed more weight than its traditional version. And part of that slightly less weight retention could also be that plastic tip because that's just not there anymore. Either way, still pretty darn decent weight retention. And then on to expansion, and that is where this Federal Fusion tip load just has blown absolutely everything I've tested so far completely out of the park because we saw 0.8 inches, 0.83 inches, and 0.86 inches respectively for an average of 0.83 inches expanded diameter. And keep in mind, we retained 91% of our weight, so the vast majority of the bullet is still there. But look at this photo, y'all, these are massive. This is the first load I've tested, as far as I can recall, that hit 3X expansion, not 2X, not 2.5X, 3x expansion, these things are massive. This is a 270 Winchester bullet that is almost an inch across at the end of the day, crazy. And I've got a few more Federal Fusion tipped videos coming up. Stay tuned for those to see if this keeps being the case. I mean, we've seen 2.5X, even 2.7X. I think we got something in 2.8X expansion before, but nothing at 3X. This is nuts. And moving on to velocity, our high velocity was 2771. Our low was 2740 for an average of 2753 versus the factory build velocity of 2850. So we did come in 97 feet per second slow versus box spec, which honestly isn't that bad. I've seen a lot worse. And if you're using an old school 270 with a 24 inch barrel, you might actually come close to that box spec. But most 270s these days have 22 inch barrels. And our estimated velocity at impact down there at 100 yards is about 2,560 feet per second. Moving on to penetration, this was really interesting, y'all. We saw 21 inches, 21 and a half inches, and 22 and a half inches, so a nice tight little spread, very consistent for an average of about 21 and a half inches of penetration. And the reason that is so interesting is, be is because we had that absolutely massive expansion. I think it's incredible that we got 3X expansion with these bullets and still got penetration past the 20 inch mark. That is something. And kinetic energy wise with 150 grain bullet going on average 2,753 feet per second, we're looking at 2,524 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 2,183 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. And those energy numbers are pretty standard for 270 Winchester. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right, y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this Federal Fusion tipped 270 Winchester load. Across the board, I think these things did absolutely incredible. The one area I wish I would have seen a little better performance is velocity, but coming in below box spec is pretty par for the course at that point. If you've seen my videos, you know what I'm talking about. The factories are not using the most common barrel lengths in actual use or production. But at the end of the day, that really doesn't make much difference. This ammo did everything it should and more, I think. Pulling up the box here, I want to point out they say on the back of this box that this bullet, the Federal Fusion tip bullet, is, is basically the same thing as your classic Federal Fusion bullet, just with a polymer tip to increase aerodynamics and ballistic performance at longer range. Basically saying that as range increases, this bullet won't slow down quite as much, and it'll have a little bit flatter trajectory. So it'll hit a little harder as range increases versus your standard Fusion. And based on the performance at 100 yards with that absolutely insane expansion, I think it's pretty safe to say that Federal has a real winner here in terms of a longer range bullet. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the facilities to test at longer range right now. I do plan on extending my range to at least 300 yards whenever I get around to it. I don't know when, it's a lot of time and money. But at some point, I will test this ammo and others at extended range, but... 
we can look at our performance at 100 yards and make a pretty educated guess based on some other ammo tests that this stuff would probably do really good at extended range. At least better than a traditional Federal Fusion. Because if we got 3x expansion at 100 yards, I mean my gosh, I think I can trust the stuff to expand once we get out there a little bit more. And what was so incredible to me about this stuff is not only did we get that massive expansion, but we also got, you know, really good weight retention, but the penetration, we got past that 20 inch mark that I like to see with all of that expansion, the bullets still went plenty deep enough for any of your medium game hunting that you're going to be wanting to do. So at the end of the day, I am really floored by the performance of this Federal Fusion tipped ammo. It did really good. I, would, I wouldn't hesitate to use it at all as long as I could get halfway decent groups with the stuff, which I don't think would be an issue. And I look forward for Federal to come out with more calibers, you know, more cartridges with this Federal Fusion tipped bullet. And you can bet that they're going to be right here on this channel getting tested. I've got two more coming. The next two videos are two more calibers in Federal Fusion tipped. You're going to want to check them out. And I want you to let me know, and everyone else too, what do you think about this new Federal Fusion tipped ammo? Let us know down in the comments. Let me know what you think. What would you use it for? Would you pick something else? How do you think it performs compared to other, you know, similar styled ammo these days? Stuff that's sort of meant for long range. Let us know in the comments. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel, so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests, and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.